Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use the track 2 and limit rotation constraints in Blender 3.4. Let's get started. Okay, so this is our robotic arm. Looks quite fancy. Ignore the like the lines that are jutting out for now. So, so the center of origin is there on that line. And then the center of origin on that one is there. So, so where the joints are technically. So the origin points there. So before that, we can see that these are parented. So this will be automatically be parented. So, like if you move rotate that, it parents the other objects. So go Control P if you don't have them. Parented. Okay, so click on that, and then let's add the track to constraint. So what this does is technically like move other objects with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna add the track to, and then firstly set the target. So the target has to be our other cylinder, and now it goes crazy. Okay, that's because our like axis is wrong. So be mindful of the up axis and change it to Y at all times. And then set the track axis to Z. Or whatever angle you have it on. So then it'll work like perfect. Okay, so I'm going to add another track to target axis to cylinder. And then set the axis. So now if you rotate it, it like connects together. Like to, the, like to their origin points. This is why we always have to keep mindful of the origin point. Okay, do the same for there, add the track to, and then target. An easy way to remember is, is track to, target, object, axis. So now we can do the same for the others. Copy to selected. Then set the axis, change the axis. And be mindful, we don't always use Z-axis. We can change it. So you can play around with it. So now you see it's a bit overlapped. So then there's an easy way to fix this. We can go to our view of axis, then view the selected object, and then rotate it. So it's like perfectly aligned. So look from the front view, or the minus Y axis in my case. And just like rotate it okay so that's it and now you can like move freely and then it goes as you desire okay, so moving on with our other constraint which is the limit rotation constraint. okay so we have our robotic arm again now if you rotate this and we keep rotating it it goes into the base and then if you move to this axis and rotate it, it rotates in the Y axis. Yes, it's Y axis and the Z axis. So to limit this, let's go to the Constraints tab and select Limit Rotation. What this does is that it prevents it from going in, rotating in other axes and then also like limiting angles. So I'm just gonna do that. So now I have to determine which axis we have to go. So we could also do it from here, which is like there and then these lock functions. So if you lock these, then it will rotate only in the x-axis. But then it doesn't do angles as very well. So we can't use that. So I'll just undo them quickly. And then let's, so we have to determine which angle we have to spin. So it's limiting. So now it's not. It's not the y-axis or the z-axis, it's the x-axis. So let's like uncheck, check the other two, sorry. Well that works, now it rotates in the x-axis only. Okay, so that's complete. But there's still a problem, it goes like crazy and goes into the base. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we rotate it and we have to find our angle, which is the max angle. So it doesn't spin crazy. So I'm just going to copy that angle, which is in the x-axis, and then paste it into the max. Okay, so now it works perfectly. Let's say we want to make it a bit more. So we have to go not plus, but it's in the negative numbers. So minus 15.1 will do. Okay, so now it blocks and then spins on every other thing. Axis. Now I'm going to do the same for the next one. Check Y and Z. And then just find the... So now you can see the joint is inside. Which makes it go crazy. So I'll just copy the rotation and then paste it into the max. This prevents it from going crazy. Okay, so now what works? It has to be negative numbers. So then now we can rotate it freely. This is cool, right? Now I can do the same for that one, but yeah. So now if you rotate that and rotate that, which I can't because like I'm just testing it, but now you can see like it's like you know it's not like connecting very well. So just decrease the minimum. So now it works like magic. Cool, huh? Yep, yeah, okay. Now I can play around with it and have fun. So I, I don't have time to do that one, so I'll just leave it as it is. But I'll quickly add the limit rotation. And then Y and Z only, but not the degrees. I'll just let it go crazy. I'm not going to take that. So now I can animate it as well. So we can animate this, then animate that. Animating is quite simple. Oops, I did location. You have to test things out to learn. So, yeah. So I'm just going to rotate it again. And then I to rotation. And then, yeah. Okay. So now I can like add a material. And then I did the animation. Thanks for watching. See you later.